Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Metopia. In the last episode, we went through a couple of new dungeons to fight some new monsters that we haven't encountered yet. And we got to spend a little bit more time with Saxon Hale, even though we didn't get to when we were doing an errand for him. Anyway, in this episode, you may notice I'm with Lydia again, and that's because in this dungeon, there was one new enemy that we didn't get to face yet. And I'll be trying to show off what that enemy is when we go into it. We're back inside the manor. As the journey continues. So yes, this is the same manor we went through when we went with Octodad's side quest to get the vampire charm. But let's see if the new enemy is here. No, it's not. Two licorice jellies and a moldy mummy. We faced these before. Let's go ahead and black hole them. Showing off. Take that! Showing off for Josh. Mega fire! Dang, may I say we're too powerful now? <laughs> Alright, Team Thomas won. Okay. My nose is all stuffy. I'm getting blisters. Now they're just complaining. Oh, great. Four moly mummies. Uh, now we gotta fight more of these guys. Surprisingly, the new enemy hasn't shown his face yet. Giga Explosion! Atomic Bomb! <laughs> Thomas is using an atomic bomb explosion to destroy them. No problem. Darn right, it was no problem. Ooh, very rare mummy jerky. I haven't gotten that in a while. I'm raring to go! See, Thomas is not complaining. Why are you guys complaining? Anyway, touch your chest with this eye. The donor kebab and sword sashimi. I think the only one we're still missing is the normal ultimate delicacy, but anyway, there's the inn. Okay, pensions are going up. And one note is now at least level 70 with the horse. Although some of them are level 80. Let's go ahead and eat some grub. Alright, mummy jerky. Let's try that on... Um... Anuma. Yeah, he's okay with it. Sour sashimi. Uh... Let's see. Uh, give it to Cameron. And donor kebab. Let's see. Thomas hasn't tried it yet. Hey, yeah, didn't like it anyway. Oh well. So now, what do we got for upgrades? Eh, a few. Diabolical Shell. Alright, so blue version of the uh, Demonic Shell. So Cameron gets an attack upgrade. Alright, the 300 attack. Dang, Cameron, you're super powerful. And then Thomas wants Legendary Wand. Which I think is the most powerful wand there is. Alright. Legendary Wand! Now he just needs the Legendary Row. So now Thomas is maxed out on attack and magic. Well, weapon upgrade wise. And then for me, high tech lab gear. Heck yes, give that to me. This is probably my favorite of the lab gears. It's very awesome looking. Uh, let's make it light blue. There we go. Nice. Alright, and what's in the arcade today? Gold prize. Miracle Staff, which would be the attack upgrade for Anuma. Alright, Miracle Staff! Which is just a blue version of the, uh... I forget what staff it is. But it's a recoloring of that staff, whatever it was. Let's go ahead and set out again. Because we still haven't run into the new enemy yet. Ooh, collected all the possible wands for a weapon of the mage. I'm a wand hoarder now. <laughs> I think it's just whatever weapon is hoarder is the name of the what achievement you get when you collect all the weapons. Okay, we're gonna get some treasure here first, because can't miss out on the free upgrade as the journey continues. Choo! And Thomas' sneeze woke up some enemies. 
Two more licorice jellies and a moldy mummy. Let's take them out. Michael! Okay. I'm just gonna fast forward this, that way I don't have to deal with these old enemies again. Alright, there we go. <laughs> we don't even need Lydia's help. We're fine. We got some very rare slime jelly and rare mummy jerky out of that. Hmm. And we got a big treasure chest. And the upgrade goes to... Nobody, because it's five game tickets. Well, this was a disappointment. <laughs> oh well. At least five game tickets is pretty good. I think the other thing it would have contained if it wasn't an upgrade was 30,000 gold. Get back up. Now let's eat some grub. Very rare slime jelly is a health booster. Uh, let's try to Anuma. He likes it. And then the rare mummy jerky. Anuma. He likes that too. And then for upgrades, what do we got? One for Matthew. Dragon armor! That's probably be Matthew's favorite dragon. <laughs> well, that's Matthew's favorite kind of armor. Alright, dragon armor! Because he is the ruler of dragons. If only he had his dragon sword again. That'd be matching with his outfit. Anyway, what's in the arcade today? Bronze or silver? Generous helping of experience or fancy Jolly Jaw tickets. Or the flower bouquet, which would be the defensive grade for Flowey. But I think I'll hold off on that. And we're gonna set out again because we still have yet to find this new enemy. Well, it was showing up before, and I don't know why it's not showing up now. Although it's probably random which enemies show up. I'm fast forwarding because I don't really want to do this dungeon, <laughs> a dungeon with Lydia again. Yeah, just just. Thousand gold, that's okay, I guess, at this point. <laughs> Considering most upgrades now are like at least 25 times that <laughs> amount. <laughs> oh, now what? Oh, new outfit? Hmm, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I look pretty great. Alright. Well, d darn right, it looks pretty great. He's a freaking dragon armor. <laughs> and now we got more enemies. Hopefully, the enemy will show up this time. Nope, too glamorous, Pharaohs. Let's black hole them. Make a fire. One turbo. Oh no, curse. And then who is the other one, curse? <laughs> Matthew. Just me. Alright, since Matthew's gonna go next, I'm gonna put him in there. Now they both turn to pharaohs. <laughs> and they have purple headdresses. And Lydia gets the attack too. Now it's finishing off with bolt top formula. We'll finish one off. Curse is lifted. There we go. Okay, very, very dynastic soup. Same thing we got from defeating Pharaoh Ethan. Oh, here's the new enemy. Puppet Masters! Which is kind of like the pop-up puppet that we defeated when we went through Octodad's side quest. So now I got two more upgraded versions of the pop-up puppet. Even though the pop-up puppet was the boss, these ones are kind of downgraded from that. Okay. Oh, we didn't get to see this before. Playing Andrew like a puppet, but he resisted. Now it's playing me like a puppet. Resisted. Alright. If that would have worked, I think that would have just prevented us from actually doing anything. So in a way, that's kind of like petrification being controlled. Okay, that's one down. It's kind of creepy how there's a skeleton inside it. And now Dancing Arrows is distracting the other one. Let's go ahead and glitch it out. And it's distracted. Go, Matthew! Dark Eye Slash! Let's do! Nice! Took it down! 
right? So we got to take down a new enemy. But it's sadly, I think that's the only new enemy in this dungeon. <clears throat> so, that's going to be all for now. Well, not the end of this episode yet, but that's all for Lydia's side quest that I'm going to do. But first, it seems Matthew wants to talk to Turbo again. Right now, I'm trying to get everyone to level 80 with the horse, at least. Yeah, they're at level 78. Alright, let's eat some rub. Very, very dynastic soup. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've been maxing out some of my stats from eating a lot of food. I've been trying to do a trick where I get a lot of snurf radishes, and I think it's working. The only one I haven't gotten yet yet is the speed, and that's the only one left. So, who's gonna try the very, very dynastic soup? Uh, Andrew is. And he hits it. What's for upgrades? Ah, quite a few. Emperor Sword, I think we've seen that. Crimson Rune Spear. Let's get that for Reggie. It's been a while since he's gotten an attack upgrade. Crimson Rune Spear, which I think is just a crimson version of the Rune Spear. Alright, so next. Valkyrie Gown. Dragon King Staff. That looks pretty cool. And Legendary Flask. Uh, let's get the Dragon King Staff for Numa. And that's just a recolor version of the Solar Staff. Apparently Anuma's now a Dragon King. No, not really. If anyone's the Dragon King, it's Matthew. Okay, let's get the Emperor Sword. Alright. Now Matthew's an Emperor Dragon Ruler. <laughs> or Dragon Emperor. That'd be awesome. And then Valkyrie Gown. Another defense upgrade for Marley. Actually kind of looks like an opera singer with that outfit. <laughs> you know, one of those like opera singers that's like got like the wing crown and you know what I'm talking about. And finally, Legendary Flask, which is the most powerful flask there is. Alright, Legendary Flask! Nice. Although it kind of looks like another kind of bottle that I'm not going to mention. Anyway, let's see what's in the arcade today. HP bananas, who cares? So yeah, that was kind of petty. And now we're going to go ahead and sit out again, but we're not going to be doing Lydia's dungeon anymore. Collected all the possible flasks, the preferred weapon of the scientists. Flask hoarder. So now we can go to the boss of this area, but I think the boss is something we've faced before, which I think is the, uh, the deadly skeletons. Or skeletons, I should say. So instead, we're gonna head back to the Traveler's Hub and do a Suggest to Me side quest, because I found a new face boss. So someone suggested... Gardevoir, from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I think it's Diamond... No, it's not from Diamond and Pearl, it's from uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Life is an adventure, and adventuring is my life. Gardevoir at your service. Incidentally, have you noticed? This monster fruits have been on force. So basically, she's got the same kind of personality that Lemmy did. Rather afraid. Alright. Would you come to me on adventure? Let's go. Because this, this is a new face boss that I found out about. Follow my lead to the Elven Forest. Bye, Lydia. <laughs> And also Gardevoir is the princess class, which I think is kind of fitting for her. Alright, so we're gonna go right near the Elven Tree. I think that's the same dungeon where we fought the, uh, delicious Snurp. Except this one's not a Snurp layer anymore. Now it's just enemies. Mostly ones we faced before, but there's a new boss at the end I know about. As the journey continues! Wonder if we're nearly there. We just started. And now we got some enemies. Starting with black butterflies and an ice cool man. Let's go black hole bomb! Showing off for Matthew. He took out the butterflies. And also now I'm maxed out on the attack and magical grades for the weapon. 
think if anyone needs a weapon upgrade, it's Andrew, because he's still got the evening frying pan. There you go, Matthew. Dark Eye Slash! Nice damage. And that's how it's done. Team Matthew won. Still in one piece. And Tumbles leveled up. Bonus experience, that's gonna go to Matthew. Yeah, I'm all sweaty. That's nice. <laughs> that was almost the perfect comment of that. <laughs> anyway, now we got more to base. Two ice cold men and a hamburger surprise. Okay, yeah, black hole bomb is one. Yeah, Thomas is gonna use Giga Lightning. Good damage. Oh no, Matthew! Matthew got eaten again. Flambe! Alright. Triple attack with Flambe. Kinda dark in here. <laughs> Matthew. Miss me. And Thomas still gets hit. How is that? Ultimate air slash. Well, take out one. Found it. <laughs> okay, black hole. Um, give Matthew back. Alright, that defeats them. And Matthew's back. That was sticky. <laughs> What's actually kind of funny is, based on who gets eaten by the hamburger, that's a di based on their personality, that's a different line they use. Like, Matthew was airheaded, so he said that. Because I'm cool, I said, like, Q. Anyway, I got a rare hamburger and snow milk. La dee doo dee da. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening to your singing. <laughs> and now we got more enemies. Purple Wolf of the Wisp and two Ice Cool Men. Let's take them out with Black Hole Bomb. And now Mega Fire. It's super effective. <laughs> and of course he's healing. 151, that's a lot of healing for an enemy. And Maestro Cooking. Healing Thomas. Delicious! Spin Slash! Ooh. To victory! T, anyone? Wow! Thanks, Gardevoir. Although, if she was on our side, it would refill her MP, too. That was like high T. Anyway, let's do Snort 3. Do it! Steve. Still does good damage. Almost is charging. Ooh. Ooh. Concern. Oh no, Andrew Dodge! Dang it! Club A! Showing off. Major damage. Spin Slash! Plus two. For honor! Thomas is char charging. Mega Fire! Take that! No one turbo again. But I don't think I need to use my laser cannon, so I'm just gonna use Mountain Tech. Yeah, it's like on the rope, so. Fuck you! Haha! <laughs> You're free, Pink Duggy! Bring it on! Bonus experience, that's gonna go to Andrew. Rare snow milk. And back to the end again. Oh no, someone's sick. It's Andrew. That sucks. Let's check on the team. Matthew and Turbo again. Oh, Matthew knows the secret now. <laughs> Turbo can talk. <laughs> That's still funny, though. Okay, just normal snow milk. Let's get it to Matthew. He's okay with it. Rare snow milk. Uh, I would try it, but I'm already maxed out both HP and MP. So let's give it to Reggie. He doesn't like it. 
and then the rare hamburger to Cameron. Loves it! Cameron loves hamburgers like I do. Okay, and what we got for upgrades? Regal Fan and Strange Cherry Branch. Let's get the Regal Fan first. So that'll be an attack upgrade for Marley. Alright, Regal Fan. Very regalistic. Even though that's just a recoloring of the Fancy Fan. And then Strange Cherry Branch, which is just a blue version of the Yoshino Cherry Branch. Alright, another attack upgrade from Cloudy. And then what do we have in the arcade today? Magma Robe, which would be a defensive grade for Thomas. We'll try it once. Mostly because it's looking more toward the MP candy. But we get it anyway! Magma Robe! Alright, and now this as of this game, Thomas is a member of Team Magma! My rival team. But anyway. It's too bad there's no Aqua Lab here. <laughs> Anyway, now Thomas is level 35, so Thomas, you're out. Andrew is 6, so he can't come. Miyamoto and Reggie, you're in. Alright, so what do we got up ahead? Another level. And then after this, I think we should be able to get to the boss. As the journey continues. I am not a happy puppy. I'm not gonna on the wrong side of the bed. Agreed. Anyway, treasure chest on the side. Ah, oh, come on, really? This just had to be a trap. Two hamburger surprises and a black butterfly. How the heck do the hamburger surprises fit in there? Especially two of them. Okay, let's go ahead and hit him with black hole bomb. Plus three! Well, take out the butterfly at least. Oh no, not again! Of course I hate me. I think the hamburger is just getting revenge on me for eating them. Give him back! <laughs> me and Marley. Alright, he took out both of them. Including the one I was in. Phew. Thanks, Miyamoto. I could go a few more rounds. Sure you can. I mean, you got legendary weapons and armor. Not more clothes. Anyway, rare butterfly, honey. Josh is so great. Thanks, Gardevoir. Oh no, not one of these. Not good! Sorry about before. No, it's my fault. <laughs> the relationship deepened. That's like one of those moments in uh, Tomodachi Life where it's like, I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry too. And then they get over it. That went really well. And another treasure chest. What's inside? Oh, another trap? Two in a row? Really, game? Ah, uh, it sucks. But anyway, at least we got enemies we faced before. Time to go turbo. And you know what? Let's go ahead and use the laser cannons. I mean, with my maxed out attack, I should be really good. Okay, let's go ahead and use Horse for Spring Scientist. Let's aim for the hamburger surprise. Time to test my hypothesis! Activate the laser cannons! Calibrating target. Fire! Major damage! Especially with that hamburger. Just as I hypothesized, and there was like a face on screen <laughs> right before it went away. Love song! The only thing it didn't take out was the ice cooler, man. Oh. Oh, charming me. Made me crazy. And refill my MP a bit. Mountain attack. Nice. To victory. Oh, high tea again. I'm <laughs> crazy while drinking tea. <laughs> well, tea does make me caffeinated, but not that much. At least tea helps me get through the day. Speaking of which, I have a cup of tea on my desk right here. <laughs> ah, that's good. Bonus experience, let's give that to... Uh, Miyamoto. 
very rare hamburger and rare snow milk. I'm counting on you. And now I got some more enemies. Three hamburger surprises. T Grub 3. Thank you, Turbo. Alright, now it's just Black Hole Bomb. Let me guess, three of us are gonna get eaten. <laughs> just imagine that happened. Miss me. Ah, oh, crap. Of course, eating me again. Those hamburgers don't like me eating them. That's weird, only ate one of us. And by one, I mean me! Okay, double pincer. Why are they not attacking the one I'm in? Get me out of here! Yippee! Give him back! Oh, now you're the one that has me. Give him back! Double pincer! Get me out of here! Okay, thank you. Free again! Phew. Right, now let's take care of that last one. Double air slash! Nice job, Gardevoir! Found it. <laughs> and she's got the fluffy fan and the... I think that's the embroidered gown. Either that or the wedding gown, I forget which one. And Matthew Lovelo! Got a hamburger. I've got the adventure bug. Apparently all of us do. And there's the end, at last. Dang, three trap- uh, two trap treasure chests and then a bunch of enemies. And Andrew's back. Okay, friendships more closer. Level 80, learn cheat rub 3. I think I've already said that- <laughs> read the description, but I got it. Get back up, no breaks. Okay, so, what do we got? Oh, I want to talk to Matthew, apparently. So, what do we got? Oh, singing. And Matthew turns in. <laughs> nice. Alright. Also, since Matthew's now level 80, who's not level 80? Well, everyone except the best friends and me. Uh, so let's put in... Yeah, let's put Flowey in there. Okay, let's eat some grub. Rare butterfly honey, Miyamoto. Eat him, like a rare snow milk. Uh, Cameron. He likes it. Hamburger. Hamburger. Uh, let's give that to Matthew. And then the very rare hamburger, let's give that to Andrew. He loves it! Haha. <laughs> And then for upgrades, what do we got for the last of them? Let's get an attack upgrade for Andrew, definitely. Blue Moon Frying Pan. Alright, so it's a blue version of the Full Moon Frying Pan. Well, it's been a while since Andrew got an attack upgrade, so let's give that to him. And then two more upgrades. One for Reggie, one for Flowey. Angel Costume, or Legendary Leaf. Uh, let's get the Angel Costume for Reggie. Because I think that's all I have enough money for anyway. Right. Angel costume! And that angel costume would be believable if it weren't for the horns and the tail. So basically, he's an angel in disguise. Haha! <laughs> Not a very good disguise, though. <laughs> and I'll have to skip out because I'm down to 200 gold already. Okay, what have we got in the arcade today? A morsel of experience or Acropolis tank, which would be the defensive grade for Cameron. Alright, Acropolis tank. So another defensive grade for Cameron. Kinda looks more like a Roman tank, considering it's got like Roman symbols on it. And I don't need to play again. But yeah, we got quite a few new upgrades with this. And now let's see, Matthew's out, so let's put Andrew, Miyamoto, and Reggie. Cause now it's time for the boss. Let's go. As the journey continues, adventure awaits. Sure does, cause we're about to face a new boss. 
Who we got waiting for us today, Gardevoir? Keep calm. Back! Gardevoir! Oh no. Alright, what kind of face boss have we got this time? The Gardevoir Tower! Basically a spike tower with magma coming out of it and two moly mummies. So Gardevoir got turned into three faces somehow. Anyway, let's go ahead and use Black Hole Bomb. Start out. Black Hole Plus 2. Defend! Ooh. Ooh. Dang, even with those defense claws, me and Bob took quite a hit. Demonic Whisper! <laughs> and it didn't work. <laughs> oh no, I'm taking my flask. Darn it. Oh no. Lumbe! Double pincer, even though I don't have my weapon, so I'll do reduce damage. Well, got rid of one multi mummy. I went to college! And I don't have my flask, so I can't use any of these skills. Which means all I can do is attack. <laughs> Let's just hold my hand up like it's like a, like I got a fist. <laughs> all out pincer. With me having no weapon. Yeah, I got my flask back. Okay, good. And it's all sticky. Who cares? Ooh. It's because of that explosion it has with the magma that makes it do increased range. And Miyamoto had another HP there. Reggie's healing. Bombe! Now let's go. Glitch! Turn off Andrew. Good damage. Miss me. Defend! And Andrew needs to heal. Encore! Thanks, Miyamoto. Before I do my encore, I gotta heal Andrew. I think we'll be good. Right, let's go to that again. Wisp was three! Naughty Pitch Four! Nice job, Reggie! Time to go turbo. Let's use mouth to attack three. Buck you, Gardevoir. Easy now. Ooh. Smooth moves. <laughs> Healed with the power of music. And usually focused. Got a pitchfork with critical hair. Nice, he took it down. My body is ready. And we have rescued Gardevoir from Pokemon. Phew. Alright, Team Josh wins again. No problem. And Andrew leveled off. Bonus experience, that's gonna go to Reggie. And Reggie leveled off. Got very rare sharp stew. be my last. Surprisingly, I came through unscathed. I believe I have you to thank for that. 14,000 gold. All right. Not enough for upgrade, but still pretty good. Yes, I'm feeling much more confident now. All right, we finished Gardevoir's quest.
nom, nom, nom. <rire> the chance and effect of a pincer attack. Now! Haha! <laughs> Level 22, learn pincer 2. And now we got someone between Miyamoto and Matthew. Miyamoto bought a present. Totally got you a present. Take it, take it. What, for me? A candle. But why? <laughs> Matthew isn't too pleased. A candle. If it's a scented candle, that'd be good. Anyway, Flower's gotta talk to Turbo, who's in a bad mood. And give him a treat, that cheers him right up. Level 77, that's good. And I don't have any money for upgrades, but let's see what we got for the future. Legendary gown. Legendary uniform. Legendary robe. And Star Lab gear. So mostly just legendary outfits. Well, let's see if we have it in the arcade. Japanese vestments, which would be the attack upgrade- no, defense upgrade for Anuma. No HP banana, of course. Alright, that's kind of disappointing. And now our one bit of grub before we set out again. Very rare sharp stew. That's gonna go to Andrew. He's a kid with it. Let's go ahead and set out again. Okay, Andrew, you're out. Anuma, you're in. Because I want to go do one more thing before we end this episode off. So first I'm going to have my Gardevoir come back on my team. Ha ha ha, so this is what it feels like, eh? To laugh in the face of danger. Add uh, Gardevoir to your party? Yes! Alright. I mean, who wouldn't want to have Gardevoir on their team? Anyway, I know I said I didn't want to do this again, but I've discovered something about the higher level difficulty versions of Professor Colorado's missions. So, we're going to head back to the Realm of the Fae again, one more time. 
and do one more Snurf layer. Of course, Professor Colorado is not strong enough to face off against freaking Snurps. Because I believe when you get to at least level 40 or so, when with Professor Colorado's a quest, they'll start ramping up in difficulty. Huh. There's no other Snurps here. Odd. Even though this definitely is a Snurp layer. As the journey continues, it might be hiding, so be careful. It could be anywhere. Stay alert. I had a fork in the roads. Of course, I got so many pathways. Uh, let's go down. La -dee -doo -dee -da. Someone's chubby. <laughs> Reggie. Ooh, treasure chest. Are there snurps hiding in this? Nope. At least not this time. 2,500 to gold. Let's get down to business. I think so too. Because we're going to go defeat the Huns. No, I'm kidding. We're going to go defeat the Snurps. So now let's go ahead and head down again. Let's see what we got down here. Looking good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> and now we got enemies. Snurps, I'm guessing. Yeah, the Black Snurps join in when you get to level 40 or so. Now it's time to go turbo, which means we're going to use Snurp 3 to take them out. We must defeat the Snurps. Here we go again. Got him! Team Josh wins. Piece of cake. For his experience, that's gonna go to Miyamoto. And yeah, Miyamoto level up. Ah, that was a good night's sleep. Yup, yup. And more enemies, jeez. More snurps, including three black ones. We must take them out. Black hole bomb! We did it. Okay, I'll kill that in the morning. You didn't even take damage, what are you talking about? Okay, give the bone experience to Anuma. I know this is all stuffy. Tell me about it. <laughs> And a small treasure chest with the side. Rare butterfly honey and rare barbecue scorpion. So, honey and bugs. Gross. Oh well, can't complain. At least it's food we can eat. Okay, checking the team. Flowey and Turbo. Again. Time to start brushing. All done. And now they're level 78. Alright, so now it's Eater Crub. Rare Butterfly Honey, who's gonna eat this? It will be... Marley. Magic doesn't like it. Uh, rare Barbecue Scorpion. I haven't tried this and my speed needs to get up, so it's alright. I'm okay with it. <laughs> and now, what do we got for upgrades? Legendary sword, that looks cool. Disco ball tank. <laughs> legendary gown. Japanese vestments, so that's what it'll look like. And legendary uniform. What about the arcade? What we got? I think it's HP bananas. Yep, or rare snowbook. Of course, it's not the ult normal ultimate delicacy, the one we don't have. But, actually, I feel like I'm pretty tough today, so you know what? I'm going to change back to the Thief class real quick. Because I got a Legendary Dagger and High Tech Lab Gear. No, not Lab Gear. High Tech Gear. It's kind of confusing considering the Thief's is called Gear and the Scientist is called Lab Gear. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and sit out. But I'll be setting out alone. What? You guys stay here. I'll take this one. Alright, it's time to head to the boss of the snow player here. 
as the journey continues. What was it I ate yesterday? <laughs> you should know. It was the barbecue scorpion for crying out loud. Oh boy, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, it's the trio of them. Two black snurps, a rich snurp, a very rare snurp, and a delicious snurp. We got all three of the big snurps. Let's take them down! Let's start out with... Phantom Strike! Dinner time! Ow. That really hurts my feelings! Well, the very rare snurp just disappeared. Ow! Miss me! Ow! You can't leave without saying goodbye! Ow! Alright, let's go ahead and use Bam Strike again. There we go! No! I like my meat pretty bloody. Game over already? Well, too bad. I'm not done with you yet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's mess him up. That's enough. He's mine now. <coughs> Curse you, monster. Oh yeah, that's a big I know, right? Weak mortal. Look at you now. I told you it weren't over. He's all yours, master. Sorry about the mess. You broke him down real good for you. I can see that. Excellent work. Well, well, well. How the mighty have fallen. Eh, mortal? I told you this went badly for you. No use resisting. You're going to become a monster. Whether you want to or not. <laughs> you are my puppet now, mortal, and I've got a job for you. It's done. Just a little present for his friends. Let's go ahead and get out of here. It's time for Josh to finally pay up what is owed. Wait, what? Leave him? But you said I could eat him! You heard the boss. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Bite! Ugh, alright. At least I got a bite. What a waste of perfectly good fresh meat. Have fun killing your friends, mortal. <laughs> good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Master says we gotta go, so... Adios!